What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here. I'm with Uncivil Law in person. I picked him up on my blimp, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a recap of the greatest subreddit on the internet, r slash Attorney Tom. Kurt, do you have anything to add? Just that I am thrilled to be here on Attorney Tom's live channel and happy to be here and react to truly the best Reddit on the Reddits, the Attorney Tom Reddit, of which I am endlessly envious. And maybe one day, if I work hard, I can get yet a glimpse of something approaching what you have achieved. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. If you work hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to have goals. It's good to have goals. All right. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Leave hypotheticals in the subreddit, guys, and I'll give an answer. Usually it depends. Wow. I like to sing. I've got a song in my heart, and at the moment, the song in my heart is your theme song. First post. Emotional damage. The children at my son's elementary school have started referring to me as Karen and mocking my chic hairstyle. Is there anything I can do in the way of legal action to prevent this? I'm deeply offended. Well, posing a question about suing an eight-year-old is probably the wrong way to beat the stereotype. What are your thoughts, Kurt? Um, getting a better haircut is a legal action. I'm just saying that, you know, it is lawful to go to a stylist and get, you know, a non haircut. And also, you know, First Amendment. What's yes. stopping you from being able to call somebody Karen? Nothing. It is an opinion. Is anything about this still illegal? I feel like taunting police officers like this is just begging to get carded on whatever they can find. I, I do like the particular phrasing of the question because still illegal implies that it was once illegal. So they're asking if it continues to be illegal. So I don't know, even know how to ask answer that question. Yeah. Yeah. So it says, baked some iPhone cookies to trick the cops into pulling me over. Then I just take a bite and ask if cookies are it. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. It's not illegal. But are you a douchebag? Maybe asking for trouble? Probably. Yeah, it's not strictly speaking illegal, but you are literally, you are literally by your asking question, asking to be pulled over. And so right. you can't complain. Yeah, I deceived the officer into pulling me over and it was therefore unreasonable. No, no, no. If you, so if you like getting pulled over, you know, there there is an easy, there are easier ways to do that though. Just put a big signs. You have one of those LEDs on the back of your window. I am carrying drugs. There is a dead body in my trunk. That would also work. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Is this going to be an OSHA thing? This is going to be an OSHA thing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking OSHA. Yeah, no. No. Uh, no. not even mad i'm impressed that was cool uh that you can do it and you should do it are as always distinct propositions right if you have to do this uh the the osha would like to have many words i would think yes oh uh, no yes an osha manual definitely exploded however it seems like it worked out for him you know like look if somebody got hurt like if an employee got hurt doing this or uh -huh. like was a bystander would I sue them? Absolutely. No harm, but like, no foul. But like, it That's was. We're going with? It was cool. That that was cool. The lawyer, the lawyer in me is just counting workers' comp in my head. Tom, is this technically illegal, or is that libel? Oh wow. Clear what may have been taken, and no arrests have been made. A 71-year-old man is accused of inappropriately touching a 12-year-old girl at the Walmart in West Mifflin Sunday afternoon. Did they really? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay. All right. So, no. no. The short answer is no. No, no. The short answer is no. But Li libel, defamation requires intent. Okay? Yeah. It requires intent. Um, additionally, if you're talking about a public figure, such as the president, <laughs> you need actual malice, which means that... You knew the statements you were making were false and you made them anyways. Now, obviously, the statements that we're talking about were clearly meant for Someone somebody else. Yeah, they mentioned that at a Walmart like today or something. So another factor to be uh, would be that the statement is so absurd on its face that no one, no reasonable person could actually understand to be a statement of fact. Therefore, it's not a statement of fact. So basically, it's hyperbolic. And uh, yeah, so no, it's not libelous, although it's f hilarious. Ooh. 
This is cool. Oh, it says, okay, damn it. I didn't read the, I didn't read it. Don't, it's still a cool draw. Just leave me some knowledge hammer inspired art that I know Tom would approve of. He did of. approve of. It's okay to drop kick toddlers, but only in very specific circumstances. Yes. What's going on with your right eye in this thing? What, you got a vice in there or what? What's I don't know what's going on with my right eye. It looks like a what's snake, the... but it is pretty cool. Just found this big bit of plastic inside my fish finger. Mm, product Ooh. liability. Wow. Well, I don't know if it'd be a product liability. What's the product? The food? Yeah. I mean, so a big thing about product liability is control. So you'd have to say like, you know, did this piece of plastic, was it in the shipping? So I guess it would just depend on how the fish was made. Like if it came like pre pre cut and then it just like cold shipped it out. Well, look, this guy seems to be clearly eating this on a personal plate at home. So I'm interpreting this as some sort of frozen fish stick that he got from context clues, context clues. Gotcha. So I'm interpreting this as like Gordon Fisherman stuff. So I'm interpreting this as coming from the inside the fish yeah. from the packaging, therefore product liability, strict liability for product defect. If it leads to any damages. Here's so the my deal. question is what damages resulted? Exactly. As I was going to say, but I got I, there faster. Right. I'm better. Yeah. Okay. That's true. But I have the blimp. Uh, Want to see the look on Tom's face? when he sees this. I'm seeing an OSHA violation. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> Baby. Wow. Okay, friends, um, pro tip, don't put yourself inside of the swing radius of a sledgehammer, uh, particularly when you're not wearing a hard hat. I agree. Is this legal? Maybe. Huh? You're on the highway? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I'm going 50 right now. Interstate highway, no. Bruh. Homeboys on the scooter going 55, 60 right now. On God. Almost certainly not. Wow. I can't believe scooters go that fast. Yeah, that's probably not legal. Spikes are so dangerous that they can hurt you and burn your house down even okay. when... Okay, see, there's a product turn, liability. Uh, yeah, here's a product liability product case liability for sure. For you, right? Okay, so the thing just bursts into fire just sitting there. That sounds like a product liability, strict liability, and now it's going to burn the house down. Scooter manufacturer pan. You, you go around the word strict liability. For, for product liability. Uh, you know, you still got to prove it. I mean, you still got to, you still got to, you know, if, if, if this is your case, you still got to hire experts. You still got to prove, you know, but, prove the liability. But, but strict liability just means you don't have to prove like negligence. You can get married without being You have been gay. actively committing marriage fraud this is my for friend, money. My what exactly is marriage fraud in my job if you're married you get paid significantly more money so me and one of my buddies decided to just get married and now i make a bunch of money and i buy him things sometimes and it all works out <laughs> good for the both of us at work i have to kind of go around the fact that i'm not gay well scotty i i have news for you if you and your buddy are legally married there is no fraud being taken place you don't have to be gay to get married to a man you i mean you did it I love him also. I love my husband a lot. <laughs> so is that mar for marriage fraud? Yes. No. What? I'm a fucking rip your face off, bitch. Yeah, no, I'm think my, my me thought actually, from, at least in part from our prior videos, going to the military. People in the military get married all the time for better benefits, better housing, all kinds of things. That's not considered fraud if you're actually getting married. Okay, so there was in there's clearly intent to be married because uh -huh. they wanted to be married to reap the financial benefits. Yeah. I mean, what exactly is the fraud? Because I mean, he's, they're, he's, they're, he's they're, but, they're, but he's admitting that he's he's heterosexual right. and he got married in a homosexual relationship. But I mean, you know, I guess I wouldn't be the first person who, who got into a marriage that they didn't actually want to get into. Like, who cares if it's homosexual, heterosexual, whatever. I want to know what y'all think. Let me know in the comments below. Is this legal? If so, if someone were to use a lot of these during a storm, would that be considered a storm? New dog poop disposal system that fills dog poop bags with helium to float them away forever. I'm I'm slightly dubious that's possible. <laughs> I'm also uh, it won't float away forever. Uh, one of a couple things is going to happen. The the helium is going to escape, or it's going to get to an altitude where the pressure differential is going to cause the bag to explode, 
or it, this is not a real product. How good of a lawyer is Tom? If I threw a brick at his client while he was talking to them, could he catch it? Yes. Obviously, I could catch it. Lightning fast reflexes, which is really the most important part of being a lawyer. Your athleticism. Yes. Quirked up white boy with a little bit of swag bust down sexual style. Is he goaded with the sauce? Could a shitty lawyer do that? So I remember how Tom was suing Jewel. Where were you? Have we heard any? I still am. Have we heard anything in regards to it? You have not heard anything in regards to it because it is still going on. Well, I can just say something. That case, it's going to be another few years. It's going to be a long case. It ain't going anywhere anytime fast. Medical bill coverage by insurance with no court case. Some of the Jeff Wittick, David Dobrik story recently changed. Now, instead of David paying for Jeff's medical bills, Jeff says that David actually sends the bill to an insurance company. There hasn't been a claim or a court case. So what kind of insurance personal business would cover Jeff's medical without some kind of legal decision of fault? Maybe I just don't understand insurance. So there doesn't necessarily need to be a legal decision of fault. The parties can determine liability on their own now a lot of times they won't determine liability on their own unless you go to court because their insurance companies and all they care about is their bottom profit but if something is so clearly covered the insurance company is going to accept liability and that's where you hire someone like me to go through the fine wording of the contract and find something to work with right can they actually go to small claims court without reading this entire thing i'm going to go ahead and say yes because you can pretty much go to small claims court for anything well, my first question when you're asking about small claims court is... How small? Well, yeah, exactly. Okay. What are the nature of the damages? Yeah. Because there's a cash limit. Yes. That's the first question, I think. It's $20,000 in Texas, I is think. Is it really that high? Well, JP Court, Justice of the Peace Court, where there's no rules of evidence, um, it's $20,000 jurisdictional limit. Excellent. I'll be seeing you for $19,000 tomorrow. Who is in trouble if it wrecks driver or Without seeing company? the video, the answer is probably yes. Yes. And the, the answer is going to be company because respondent superior. There so, you go. Oh my God. It's yeah, tilted. Yeah. Like that. Uh, oh my God. They need to go get their tires aligned. <laughs> the company is almost certainly the answer to this. It's almost certainly the company's truck and respondent superior. As he noticed that there, that there's massive, obvious negligence. The fact the driver's doing this, I mean, maybe, but the company's answer yeah why hasn't this building just been torn down already due to all its issues had their heads up yesterday huge chunks of ice were falling from one of the tallest residential building in the western hemisphere and not just one or two but hundreds of them thankfully no one was hurt but this could have turned out way worse oh, oh my God. follow for more news I don't know what to tell you. I'm not, I'm beginning to be that. Yeah. I would take that case all day. Cause you know, 432 park Avenue's got some money. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't know how you justify that. I mean, if that, if that, if pieces of ice, like if you know every year, at least one day a year, which presumably there's going to be more cause it's New York and it gets cold, but you're going to have those kinds of chunks of ice falling. It's a ticking time bomb. It's only a matter of time before somebody gets killed. I would take that case. That's false. And that qualifies as catastrophic personal injury. If it, that chunk of ice falls on you and injures you, yes. I don't know why. This is what I thought of when I saw the new video. No escape. Very big brain, Kurt. He's the biggest brain. I have a very big brain. All right, y'all. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining. We had lots of fun tonight. And uh, yeah, we will uh, see y'all later. He's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a YouTuber. Attorney Tom.